be addressing your comments, criticisms, compliments, questions. What energy you bring here, I will return to you with the maintenance of rule one, rule equal, the balance of the honor and the grace, and the position of peace and neutrality. Keep in mind, no one is twisting your arm to be here, so keep that in mind. If you are going to make claims or if you are choosing to not read the terms and conditions of the comments field, well, then you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Now, I don't ever take anything personally here. I recommend that you do the same. What I'm saying in this comments video is a critique based upon using the lens of correct sentence structure communication, parse syntax grammar, i.e. quantum grammar, the wonderful technology brought to the public in 1988 by the late Colin David Ivan Colin Miller. Keep that in mind. Everything I say is pretty much through that lens. So with that in mind, let's get to it. All right, folks, welcome to this edition of Clarity and Closure of the viewers' comments. Uh, this is the savage edition. Because as we go on, and as I said in my, one of my most recent live streams, I'm not really going to be doing this channel thinking about what you all want. I'm just going to do it based upon what amuses me and what keeps me interested in it. Because, And the reason for that, not because I'm being inconsiderate of you, the viewer, but it's just that there's not enough participation from you, the viewer, in the comments field, in the chats, or anything like that, that makes me think that I get enough viewers to actually cater to what they want. So while I'm going to keep it within the parameters of correct sentence structure communication, parsley syntax grammar, which has been the plan from the start in, a, in my volition and I've kept with that, the way it's presented is going to be a little bit different. All right. So let's start right off with uh, a comment from Terence Herming, 1838. And they say, I do not think you are wrong. I think you are 100% correct. However, I am not certain QC is everything. Dr. Barry is 80 years of age and deserves respect. Do you think the common law court is correct sentence structure? This comment is typical of either a newbie or someone that's been around for a while but really hasn't done butt kiss in the way of studying of correct sentence structure. Because even with just the tiniest amount of study, Terence would know that their common law court that he's talking about, especially in the video that he posts there, there's nothing correct sentence structure about it. It's all adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. So the guy says, I think you are 100% correct. But then they go on to contradict that by what they say after it. Now, QC, as you can see in my comment below there, I say, what is QC? Folks, I knew what he meant. The point I'm trying to make is, if you come to this comments field, and it's important enough for you to comment, whether you're commenting in correct sentence structure communication or like this individual in fiction babble, I just ask that you take care to be correct in your spelling. I mean, everybody makes mistakes, but there's pretty careless things that happen, and I think this is one of them. I personally, when I write a comment, I proofread that. I proofread it once or twice and then fix anything that I see. I don't just and then click. I never, ever do that, but that's me. But again, this individual probably has not read the terms and conditions of the comments field, so anyways. And we're talking about this Dr. Barry guy that I, I don't know if it's Terrence or yeah, it is Terrence that came up in a live stream and started mentioning, mentioning some Dr. Barry. And I asked him, well, what's Dr. Barry's last name? Who the hell is this guy? And he wouldn't answer. He would not answer. And now here he is coming again with it. And he still doesn't use a last name. So the mysterious Dr. Barry, which I have never seen. And of course, I didn't click on that video because... It doesn't really, common law doesn't hold any value for me whatsoever. Uh, for me, correct sentence structure communication, parsley syntax grammar has been sufficient to handle everything that I needed it to handle in the last six years, and I've never needed to look outside of it once I learned it. You know, I didn't have to, I mean, I, although I do keep learning, I didn't have to go into different venues and continue to study laws, rules, regulations, codes, statutes, and all that. B. 
S. So he says, Dr. Barry's 80 years of age and deserves respect. And I said, no one deserves respect. Now, if you're talking about an elder gentleman or an elder madam, yes, of course, I would give honor to them just based upon their age. But in the context they're saying, as in this guy promulgates some sort of adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble, common law, gobbledygook, that they deserve respect just because of that? Mm -mm. No. Respect is earned in those types of uh, venues. And that's a fiction term because respect, of course, means no spect because RE means no. So I say uh, common law court is 100% adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. And then they say, sorry, my mistake, QG for quantum grammar. You wanted to know who Barry was. He still hasn't told me. I am not promoting common law. Dr. Barry has a deep fascination, fascination, fascination with words. You could hook up with Dr. Barry sometimes if you wanted. All right. They still haven't told me who Dr. Barry is. They just want to send links. So, I mean... Terrence is the one that made the claim. It's up to Terrence to prove the claim and at least share in maybe one small sentence who Dr. Barry is, but he won't do that. And then I say, question for you. Why would I want to quote unquote hook up with Dr. Barry, whomever he is? Correct sentence structure has been 100% successful for me. Now see, even I have a typo right here and I proofread this message. So I apologize if I'm going too hard on you, Terrence, as far as that goes. This is a correct sentence structure channel, not a fiction babble common law channel. If Dr. Barry or anyone else wants to learn quantum grammar, he or they may contact me at, and then I write out my email. And then they say, okay, the first thing is I do not even know Dr. Barry, no more than I know Jason Matthew Glass. He's in Australia. I am in the British Isles and you are in America. Second thing, I did not want to communicate via YouTube, but your email was in capital letters before when advertising, so I typed a long email only to be told non-existent or whatever Gmail said. And then I say, as far as the email address goes, you can type it, and then lowercase or uppercase, it doesn't matter, it will still go through. I know this because I've been using it for six plus years, and no one has ever reported that particular problem. My guess is there was a typo on your end. Also, if that were truly what you thought, why wouldn't you simply resend the email with the letters in lowercase? Sounds sus to me. Thank you. And another thing I want to point out to you, lovely ladies and gentlemen, he said, like, they typed out a long email, and then suddenly they said, uh, non-existent. My email address was non existent or whatever. Folks, if this guy was really, like, as the kids say, being real about it and not being sus, all they have to do is go into that email that they sent, take the text, copy and paste it from that sent email, which you could find in his sent email box on Gmail, copy and paste it into a new email, and then instead of writing out the email in all capital letters, you could write it out in lowercase letters and send it again. If they were being real about it, but no, they're acting like some sort of scenario happened that they, uh, that they can't change it. And so they had to come here and do this folks. Trolls come in all shapes and sizes. So either this fellow's being lazy or they're a troll either which way. I mean, they're welcome to hang around. And I uh, keep leaving con comments and things like that because it gives me great content for these types of videos. But other than that, I have never, from Terrence, seen any volition of his to be serious about correct sentence structure or even learn it. So that's why I am giving the energy that I'm giving with regards to him. He is not a serious student, nor is he a student at all. I don't know really why he's here, maybe to promote common law or just maybe to troll or for his own amusement. Who knows? Only he knows. Next comment comes from user blah, blah, blah. And they say, bro, you don't want to grow on TikTok if you value your mental wellness. Isn't that quite the sentence? Right off the bat, just like 99% of the folks who come here, 
this guy or girl looks like a guy in a profile picture. He has a, does he have a freaking cucumber on his head and a, a spoon under his lip? All right, do we want to be taking advice for somebody like that? <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, the first sentence tells me they have not read the terms and conditions of this comments field, so we're in for a crazy ride because we're here for someone that, I guess, feels very strongly about whatever they're going to share, and they feel like I and everyone else should think like them. They know something we don't. So let's listen to the wisdom of user hyphen blah, 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 blah. Bro, you don't want to grow on TikTok if you value your mental wellness. That app is pure brain rot in a brainwashing cesspool. Now, of course, they're welcome to their opinion, but TikTok is just an app. It's, it's, it doesn't have a mind of its own, like Facebook or Instagram or, or whatever, MySpace, AOL. It's just an app. That's all it is. It is what you make of it. That's pretty much how I look at it. People who don't want to take accountability for themselves or their own thinking will say things like this individual is, is saying. Most times. It's also designed and primarily used by literal kids and teens. Literal kids and teens. So he's saying that kids and teens design TikTok. I, I don't know. I don't know that. I don't know anybody who works at TikTok, TikTok, so I have no idea. I do know that their monetization system sucks. And that's why I don't monetize anything over there and why I haven't really been concentrating on anything over there like I was because I realized that TikTok takes 75 to 85% of the monetization that comes in, which is ridiculous. No self-respecting grown adult should be on there. And there's the old condescending, uh, shameful, shame, uh, trying to shame people into coming into his, his uh, viewpoint of things. No self-respecting grown adult should be on there. Well, bro, no self-respecting grown adult would have a freaking cucumber on their head and a spoon under their lip and a profile picture. No self-respecting um, grown adult would use a goofy, ridiculous username like that on YouTube. A grown adult would have a normal, quote-unquote normal as in uh, just a profile pic and use their correct name. Unless they're saying stuff that they would never say to someone on the street or in person. And they're just doing their little keyboard warrior routine. That's one perspective. There's no specific reason to be there apart from predatory motives for adults. That is 100% incorrect. There is so much data on TikTok if you know how to get to it. So many cool, interesting things from... Uh, Showing different countries, like their food, uh, how they make things, different lifestyles, all types of stuff is on TikTok. It is, again, what I said, it's what you make of it. And if this person is saying that uh, there's no specific reason to be there apart from predatory motives for adults, that makes me wonder, is this individual an actual predatory adult? Because a lot of times what someone accuses someone else of, it's actually what they are deep down inside. Anything you think you need to do on there can just as easily be done in any number of other applicants and platforms. And that, again, is not true. Because TikTok has a very specific audience. I found them to be young folks. And you cannot reach them because there are a lot of folks who prefer TikTok, just like some folks prefer, uh, prefer Instagram or Facebook, and they spend their time there rather than here. You see what I'm saying? So that is, again, another misconception there. Well, I wouldn't say misconception. It's just their opinion, which they're perfectly entitled to. It's an embarrassment, in my opinion, to have ever downloaded that app. Well, I guess embarrassment comes from worrying about what others think of you. And it seems like this individual worries a lot about what other people think of them. If, that, if they let, allow that to control whether they download an app or not. It's literally and specifically designed to wreck your attention span and at the most opportune time during the height of your mush-brained level, they just slam you with PSYOP advertisements. 
They don't look like ads anymore. Instead, what companies are doing are hiring a bunch of influencers, especially couples, to put products in front of your face without the restrictive guidelines of the government big companies. I swear it's the truth. You swear it's the truth. If it's the truth, why you got to swear at all? I don't know. Since yesterday was Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. My mother told me never to swear. She told me not to swear. So if you're going to swear, I mean, I hope your mama didn't teach you to do that. There's several documentaries exposing a ring of younger kids, maybe in their 18s to 20s, and they're all in couples, and they all promote this lifestyle of living without having kids so they can be free to spend money on whatever they want. And in every single one of them, they mention going to Costco at least once, and they almost always end up in Costco. What's wrong with Costco, bro? Seriously. You get some great stuff at Costco, especially toilet paper. Get a good deal on toilet paper. <laughs> it's bizarre. Not only are they pushing corporate agendas and consumerism, but they project these sociological stances and ideologies to try and get you to stop creating children because they make more money off of you if you just continue to spend and spend. Sound familiar? All right, user whoever you are. Are you the type of individual that would willfully bring a child into this world if you think this world is terrible with terrible things like tiktok why would you bring a child into the world especially if you're one of those uh green folks who want to save the planet who what is the biggest threat to mother earth and what is the biggest threat to humanity humans Who's the biggest polluter of the planet? Humans. So why would you want to continue to bring humans into the planet so that they can keep continue to destroy it, if that's the way you think? Do you see the logic here? I don't think you're thinking this all the way through, user, whoever you are. Um, and making money, there's nothing wrong with that, especially in this context of this society. I mean, you have to have money to eat, so... Everything is a choice, bro. Everything is contract. If you consent to it, you consent to it. If you don't, you don't. No one, no one is putting your hand behind your back and forcing you to watch TikTok. No one. A uh, little bit like Japan and China. What's wrong with Japan and China? Creators of Japan, and it's actually part of one of the most evil corporations on the planet that turned everything in China into being ran off of one application that controls every aspect of your life and gives you a social credit score and through which you have to use their services to get your paychecks and pay your bills. That's on top of the obvious governmental spying on your aspect of the whole thing. Those are just like the very beginning of the reasons why you shouldn't be on that stupid app. There's very few things I'm passionately conspiratory about conspiratory about the way I think on certain topics, but TikTok is one of them because it's evil and it's a production regulation tool. Good and evil is definitely <laughs> an assumption presumption. It depends where you stand. Okay? Someone who's feeding their family using revenue from TikTok would view someone like you as evil because if you want to do away with TikTok, if it were up to you, you'd banish that channel. Then they no longer have a means to feed their family and now their family stars. And who's the bad guy then? Duh. Anyways, thanks for the comment and thanks for the uh, entertainment. And I really don't think you're here to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar either. You're just here to tell people what you think they should do to bring them into your way of thinking. I don't know, maybe it feel, makes you feel important or whatever. And uh, you have no interest in this grammar. So, thanks for coming out. Next one comes from Crazy Cool S Saraba, whatever. Hello, Jason. Hope you're good. I looked up Noah Webster's 1828 to verify that... In or re or op literally means no, missins no, as suggest by David. Couldn't see much thing, but the usual meanings. Do you have any relevant or helpful sources regarding same? Well, yes. I can tell that you must be a new viewer here, and English perhaps is not your first language, 
which is fine. If you go into my Parse playlist, I tell you exactly how to find out what particles of negation are and how to credential them as such. And it all starts with an etymology dictionary. Hope that helps. Ice D6ME says they own the copyrights to the flag. That's all. No. And he's talking about um, David Miller and Russell J. Gould, I suppose. And then they put no question mark. And that's true, actually. They don't own the copyrights to the flag. Unless he's talking about, or they, she, he, she, it, they, whatever. Unless they're talking about fiction copyrights, meaning David or Russell filed in a copyright to the fiction system and paid a fee for freight in the fiction system to get a copyright, well then maybe there's a fiction copyright to that flag. But as far as in the domain of fact, as far as correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, there is no correct grammar contract for the flag. Therefore, no one owns it in the domain of correct sentence structure. But you can use it if you have closure on the grammar and have such closure on the grammar that you can teach it to another individual. Hope that makes sense to you. Next one comes from Dennis Thompson, and they say, what is this picture? Weariness? Sorry you lost me with that statement. Please explain. He's talking about a correct sentence structure that I put up in the community section. And then I said, what's with the picture? I'm not sure what you're asking. There's nothing with it. It's just a picture of a lamp all by itself. And then I said, I forgive you. The reason I say I forgive you is because they say, sorry you lost me with that statement. They, Dennis Thompson is apologizing to me and I'm forgiving them. Because they asked for my forgiveness. They said, sorry. They apologized. And then they said, oh, picture is a lamp, is it? Oh, picture is a lamp, is it? And taking picture and posting it to YouTube made you weariness. I forgive you as well. Um, well, that's on you, Dennis, if you want to forgive me. I'm not sure what I did to you. I never apologized to you. So, I mean, but if it makes you feel good to say that, cool awesome and then i say you forgive me for what i didn't say i was sorry you did you said sorry you lost me so i forgave you and your interpretation of the sentence is incorrect if you'd like to learn correct sentence structure and be capable of reading a mathematical interface on grammar you're welcome to email me at blah 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 when you're actually serious thank you yes and of course they write back to me and say something about they're not ready to do the workshops for whatever reason which is standard response uh, from this individual for whatever reason and there is folks there's nothing wrong with that I'm not picking on Dennis you prioritize what is important to you and if this grammar is not important to you why would you take a workshop oh we got Terrence again and they say I never say thank you to anyone I say may the divine bless your good heart now there's a lot of assumption written into that we don't know who the divines are. And how does Terence know that someone has a good heart? As I said before, good and evil are both assumptions and presumptions. So Terence is assuming someone has a good heart. Which in correct sentence structure in this domain, this is why I'm saying this, we never assume or presume. So my response was, who are the divines? <laughs> and they say a god deity or as or of God, a demigod or hero, there is a word called suver, suvern, suvern, a difficult word to research, which also means as or of God, because in order to be a sovereign, you technically should have a standing army. I guess in the, in the world of adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, I mean, I guess it can mean whatever. It's one of the definitions. Then I said, how would you certify divines as a fact to me in the context of correct sentence structure? So again, I bring it back to the grammar. And they say, for this claim is with the knowledge, is with the truth, by the fact. As a living man, I stand under God's law only for the fact. This, folks, is not correct sentence structure. This is 
Quantum gobbledygook, adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. First of all, in correct sentence structure, what's one of the very first rules we learn? There is one verb per sentence, one verb, one thought. One and one is one, folks. But they have two verbs. There are two positional audio fact phrases in front of the verb. For the facts of the facts are. They have one positional audio fact phrase. So what they are writing is not correct sentence structure. They do not possess closure on correct sentence structure, and they have not certified divines as a fact at all. And then I said, what you wrote is not correct sentence structure. You did not answer my question. I know that you can't possibly certify prove God as a fact the same way I can certify love, cars, hoses, or wind as fact. The concept of God is solely based upon assumption presumption, i.e. faith and belief. Thank you for your comment. Meaning, I can prove this cup exists to you. I can easily hand it to you. You can see it. You can feel it. You can touch it. You can put coffee in it. How are you going to do that with the concept of God? I'm not ripping on anybody's beliefs. I'm a correct sentence structure tutor. I'm bringing it into the domain of fact. You have to certify what you're saying is a fact. Otherwise, it's just opinion, and it really holds no value in the domain of fact. Unless you can prove it. Next comment comes from the cataclysmic whatever. And they say, what kind of a-hole comments in brackets? An idiot baby boomer. And then they say, Jason always states it's his personal opinion, whether it's a belief of his that's not backed by evidence. Open your dumbass ears and listen. Don't just hear. You're a plug. Crap channel begging for money. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so this individual is obviously a Jason Brashear's nut hugger. He's swinging from Jason's. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm not going to go into that. I'm not going to get too crude here, but they're definitely a cult follower. Um, I don't know if uh, the cataclysmic whatever could remove their lips from Jason's ass. For a few minutes, maybe they could look into correct sentence structure and see what I'm all about. And they can do that for free because there's 900 free videos on here. I bet that Jason Brashears does not have 900 videos on his channel. I bet. I bet he doesn't have 900 free videos. But I don't know. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. I don't think he does. I really don't think so. But thanks for your entertainment, whoever you are. Next series of comments, uh, Dennis Thompson says, much respect. Thank you very much, Dennis. Much honor to you. And then Kevin Smith says, hi, can you suggest a series of videos of yours that has the most word syntax meanings that I can study? I don't know what that means. I'm trying to have a greater understanding of the wordplay used in court. Correct sentence structure isn't going to help you with that. Also, a video that has the most contract and no contract. Where is any possibility to put your videos into playlists? Yes, of course. There's a great possibility of that. Matter of fact, it's not a possibility. It is a reality. There are multiple playlists on my channel, Kevin Smith, if you would actually take the time to look at the channel and go through it. Kevin Smith, uh, with my position, is one of these individuals that wants to be spoon-fed. They want everything handed to them. They don't want to do any work of their own. Because if they would do some of their work, they would be able to answer every single one of their questions themselves. So, Kevin, no spoon feeding here. you got to do your own work. And if you are actually serious about this, contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen and apply for a frickin' workshop. But please include your full correct name. You won't. Next comment comes from member Tin Rib Music. Thank you very much for your membership. They said, I've hit the 92. Nice ventilation. Good to hear you are on the mend. From what you are saying, the tolls return in kindness as guests. The tolls. I think they mean trolls. Visiting this venue seems out of balance with all the S-H-I-T-E you are having to mop up. What are your wishes for this venue, Jason? My wishes is for this venue to become wildly successful. And um, I wish that it would get 100,000 subscribers. And millions of views. So that way I wouldn't have to worry about putting food in my mouth or keeping a roof over my head. And at the same time, 
many, 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 many more people would be learning correct sentence structure. Ah, but if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. Uh, that's just simply not going to happen. 92 videos seems a lot of work for falling shadows of the... I don't know what that is. Is it to tidy up for you? Whatever you do, Jason92. Jason92. Tin Rip Music. Who's Jason92? My correct name is Colin Jason. I'm from Matthew Colin Glass. So I'm not sure who you're referring to there. This thank you stays for the energy you give. All the best, man. Well, thank you very much. All the best to you as well. If someone is able to show me that what I think or do is not right, I will happily change for I seek the truth by which no one was ever truly harmed. It is the person who continues in this self-deception, cowardice, ignorance, who is harmed. Colon Jonathan hyphen Simon brackets colon space bell period. Jonathan, just so you know, the what you've written here, okay, you got the first bit in brackets, right? So it's not here, right? So all that's on the page, the page, is colon Jonathan hyphen Simon and then brackets colon space bell uh, bracket period. The brackets are not necessary in that context because the correct sentence structure concatenation is all there because it's for the Jonathan hyphen Simon of the bell period. So you don't need the brackets in the, in that context of, of your name there. Just say, okay. So what Jonathan is referring to is that I was talking about cleaning up this channel and putting out 92 videos, Oh, you know, over a period of time, of course, and maybe keeping some of the older ones that are through and through 100% correct, because there's a lot of videos that there are mistakes in it, which my students have been uh, gracious enough to point out, <laughs> and even some of my not students. Um, just to have only 92 videos on here to really streamline it down. Uh, that, that was the purpose of it. That's the volition of it. Rather than 900, 92. And that's in honor of Colin David Ivan Colin Miller's claim of being a 92nd degree Mason. That's all. Thanks for the comment. And again, thanks for the membership, Jonathan. Next comment co comes from the old D. Geezy. And they say, we call it Panocha, LOL. And then I say, is that your name? Very appropriate. <laughs> I'll leave that there. And you're going to find out why I said that. Digeezy says, 100% guarantee you do not walk around in the public speaking to people the way you do on this platform. Well, if you can 100% guarantee that, Digeezy, then why don't you email me or do something to prove your claim? Because I'll walk right up to you wherever you are and speak the same way I'm speaking right now. Anyone who knows me personally can attest to that. So I don't know how you, not knowing me, can say something like that. Um, well, actually, I do know how. You won't even use your correct name. So that tells me you're a coward. And I am not name-calling. I'm giving an assessment based upon someone who appears to be hostile and appears to not be here to learn correct sentence structure, but rather to harass and argue. But they're doing it behind a nom de guerre. They're not credentialing themselves. They don't have a profile picture. I have no idea what this person looks like. I have no idea what their name is. So what they're saying is all opinion, assumption, presumption, holds no weight no value, and is basically here for entertainment purposes for this comments video. So keep that in mind, folks. There's a name for guys like you. Followers, you think you have a social media platform with followers means something? It doesn't. Actually, it does. It does mean something. Because it means you don't. And that's why you're saying it means nothing, because you don't have it. That's what haters do, bro. And as far as your knowledge and grammar, LOL, guess what? It doesn't mean a effing thing if you can't teach it to anyone. I've taught it to lots of people. And actually, uh, over a dozen folks have gotten closure on it in the last six years. So, it does mean an effing thing. It just doesn't mean anything to you. 
because you probably don't possess the neurological pathways to even get past square one. You say very few of your students get it, and you know what they say, no such thing as a bad student, only bad teachers. Who says that? Who says that? When you die, your knowledge will die with you. Your attitude is no different from the weenie who got bullied growing up, didn't get much, if any, attention from the opposite sex, who then grows up to be a police officer and thinks he's a badass all of a sudden and now is the one who liked to bully. L.O. Weenie, then still a weenie now. Oh, that was funny. Right on. Why do these individuals who get butt hurt about my kuleana to them, why do they always go into the psychoanalyzing my childhood? It's hilarious. Does that make them feel good? I don't know. But I just know that this individual is definitely a coward, doesn't have a leg to stand on, and... It's just a troll. That's it. And I did a video on it, of course, because this is a video channel. I am a content creator, and you can check that out. It's uh, one of the Kuliana videos, and it does tag him in it, or her. I have a feeling it's probably a girl. D. Geezy's a kind of behaves like a female, I guess. But there you go, folks. I told you. This is the Savage Edition. Hot Streak says, for the sellance of this video is with the competent performance by the teacher. Is this construction correct? You know what, Hot Streak? The concatenation is 100% correct. For the, of the, verb, with the, by the. So you have the positional concatenation correct. You have put the particle of negation in brackets, which is wonderful. And you read it backwards, it, it works out. For the teacher of the competent performance is, with this video, by the sellants. Excellence. So yeah, that, that, is a, that construction is correct. And uh, I'll just say this as a word of advice to you. Just be careful not to try and make a claim for someone else. Because in this, you have given authority to the teacher, which I guess, you know, would be me. Uh, so there are other ways to construct something like this so that it puts it in your jurisdiction. One way would be to say something like, for the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with the perception claim of the excellence, with this video of the competent performance, with the teacher of the Jason hyphen Matthew, with this position by this claimant or something like that or with this perception by this claimant so that way you're the cause of the sentence and you're the authority of the sentence um, but great job i mean it, it really hits me here when i see someone that's never commented before at least with my knowledge has never commented before on this channel and they come up with the correct sentence structure um, great job, Hot Street. Stick with it. If you ever want to move forward at a fast rate, feel free to contact me, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. But you don't have to. Keep doing whatever you're doing because it seems to be working. Great job. And then KSGGBG says, they put a, <laughs> they put a, a tilde and then a colon? And then brackets, and then a period, and then a steric. Oh, and then, uh, what in the hell is this person doing? They said, you just added a bracket to... I don't know what shit this dude's on, or this woman's on, whatever. No idea. Whoever KSGGBG is, bro. Um... Please comment or please articulate a little more clearly whatever you're doing because I have no clue what you're trying to convey there. This up here, excellent, awesome, correct sentence structure job right here. This right here, 
fiction babble nonsense. Stillverse says these people didn't read the little comments notice. Brashears refuses any argument outside of his arena. Me, my habits, and my reactions are my biggest enemy. Here to learn correctness. Want to start a school that allows people a cathartic court experience where we can learn emotionally controlled expressions of rhetoric correctness. If you have not noticed, we, the general public, are a mess. Thank you for your efforts. All right. I appreciate the sentiment behind this. I will be a little bit more gentle on this individual, whoever they are. Um... Because they said, me, my habits, and my reactions are my biggest enemy here to learn correctness. I think we all can say that as far as habits and reactions. Something we all definitely have to work on. I know I myself do, although I'm not going to speak for everybody else. But I can guess that everyone else is the same thing. Just look at all the butthurt trolls that we just went through in this comments video. It's interesting that they said, want to start a school that allows people a cathartic court experience. Well, still verse 3, I have begun work on a new curriculum for advanced correct sentence structure students that simulates that type of experience so that you can get experience using correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar in a foreign vessel in dry dock. What to do, what to say, the mechanics, all that stuff, how to do it, and it Sort of, it's sort of like sparring, like when you learn how to box or jujitsu or, you know, Muay Thai, whatever it is. You want to learn catch wrestling, Greco-Roman wrestling. You get in there and you spar, you roll, you fight in the gym. You actually get punched in the face. You actually get put, in, you know, unconscious and things like you get thrown around. So you know what it feels like. It's sort of the same thing, the same concept, because you're never going to know how you're going to behave or perform unless you practice and you simulate those types of feelings and those types of scenarios. Thank you very much for the comment. I appreciate it. Here's the comment I think that started it all from D. Geezy where they said, LMAO, it wasn't a literal statement, but go ahead and talk your talk. It wasn't a literal statement. So if it wasn't a literal statement, whatever the hell it is they said, I don't even know what they said. Then, so you're lying. So if it's not literal, then, then what does that mean? It's a metaphor? <laughs> it's an analogy? You're not being totally upfront and honest? <gasps> wow, big surprise. Panocha's not being upfront and honest. They're not being literal. As if you sit on some sort of invisible, invisible pedestal, which you don't. Just another person who knows something that others don't, therefore thinks they are above everyone who does it. It is true that I know something that others don't, but everyone can say that. Even you, Panocha, can say that. That you know something that others don't. So, nothing special about that statement. Real life doesn't work that way. Actually, yes, it does. There are lots of people that walk around knowing shit that I don't know, or you don't know. So actually, that is exactly the way real life works. You don't get very far in the real world acting like that. Really? My 50-some years on this planet, I haven't figured that out yet. You know what? Thank you so much for sharing that with me. I would have never known that if you wouldn't have said that in this comments field. But on YouTube, you can be all you can be. LOL. I said, alert, butthurt, incoming. Tell me again, oh, master of YouTube, about being on YouTube with zero subscribers and zero experience at being in the public using a correct name and correct visual credentials instead of hiding behind a fake username with no picture. I rest my case. Tuck your little tail between your little legs and go back to whatever junior high school you came from and leave the real world of correct grammar to the folks who can handle it? Maybe someday you will be mature enough not to take things personal and actually learn rather than commenting with a knee-jerk reaction. Would you like some Kleenex? Or maybe they'd prefer a tampon would be more appropriate, actually, folks. Um, and this goes back to the other individual in the other comment that was talking about their biggest enemy was their reactions. Perfect example of that. Dennis Thompson says, hello again, Jason. Much respect for your actions with the school and VAX. I would say from my side of the fence, about 2% of the father, mother, no own control steward their children from 0 to 18 years these days that I have seen. 
I see how and hope more of mankind starts using, seeing how correct sentence structure can open minds to the control systems and helping mankind to look within for controlling their own world and their interaction with the outside world. Much respect. Great video. Thank you very much for that comment, Dennis Thompson. Much honor and grace for that sentiment. Uh, and we'll leave it there. I do hope the world becomes a better place as well. Blue Pill Lynn Chillin says, I initially came in to learn, but realized how lacking in basic grammar skills I am. I'm now learning parts of speech and basic syntax skills online in order to build a foundation before I come back. Build back better? It seems straightforward and simple enough, but it's the underpinning of the mechanic of its mechanics that's elaborate, especially combined with the various aspects of law. And furthermore, there's a theatrical side as well. Thanks for what you do. Theatrical side in what sense, blue pill and chillin'? When I see the word theatrical, I think of military. Uh, but I think that's perhaps not what you're talking about. But thank you for the comment. And uh, best of fortune on your journey. Last comment comes from crazy cool... Saraba, and they say, hey, I watched a video on Jordan Maxwell's channel regarding occult commerce. He has a very informational video uploaded where in the voice is explaining about time law. That voice said with means against, and he used it to explain the term withdraw money. But as per David Wynn Miller, with is something positive. I am confused about this. Could you please guys clarity on this? Of course, I can give you a path to clarity, crazy cool. Check out my Parse playlist and also check out actually one of the most recent videos on my, on my TikTok channel, Focus on the Positionals, where I explain and give closure to the four positionals in correct sentence structure, four of, with, and by. Uh, if you don't want to go to TikTok, you can go to my YouTube channel and look that up. Just type in the word focus positional and it will come right up amidst a number of videos having to do with positionals. Okay? And you can get your own answers there. You can put your own work in and it will mean a lot more. It will have a lot more value rather than me just spoon feeding it to you. All right, folks. Let me know what you think of this uh, new type of savage video. Do you like seeing me get a little bit more aggressive about things or do you prefer the older videos where i'm more uh laid back let me know